Welcome. This is what's going on on the sun today, 22nd of July 2011. 60 years ago this day, two Russian dogs, Desik and Tiskin, were launched into space. They are both recovered alive. So today's trivia question is, how many times did they orbit the Earth? The answer will be given at the end. When we look at the GOES X-ray plot, we see that we once again had a few minor B flares. However, a few of them have been rather sharp and impulsive, which implies at least somewhere there's been a, some a minor growth. So let's take a look at the sunspot regions and see uh, what's been going on. The thing to note is that we still only have three numbered regions on the disk. In the northwest we have region 1251 which will be going over the limb in the next couple of days. It still is just a single large spot, though despite the strong magnetic field there, it's showing no signs of activity. Region 1254 is a bit of a strange region. It seems to be a back to front region. Mostly in these sunspot regions we've seen that the leading part of the region is the strongest field and the trailer is made up of equivalent or weaker fields, and generally large numbers of spots. In this region the trailing part of the region has been the stronger and uh, over the last 24 hours it looks as though the leading part of the region has been decaying significantly. Region 1259 is the most complex region on the disk and has shown some signs of growth, so my suspicion is that the B flares that we've seen have been mainly coming from there. In the SEO movies of the sunspot regions and the magnetic field, you can clearly see the decay in the leading part of region 1254. In both the magnetic and optical movies, you can see that there is some weak plage on the east limb, but neither of them look particularly strong, and I doubt that they'll have any sunspots with them even when they rotate onto the disc and they become more visible. In the Transition Region movie from the AIA instrument on SDO, we can see that we're continuing to get these very small eruptive events all around the Sun, but nothing major that would indicate a CME. In the Low Temperature Coronal movie, we can see that the plage regions coming over the northeast limb are very weak, and so unlikely to produce major activity unless they start to grow. In the High Temperature Coronal movie, we're continuing to track that coronal hole all the way to the west limb. As it moves further west, its influence on the Earth will decrease. So we should take a look at the solar wind data to see if that is indeed the case. The Soho coronagraph data is still pretty much of a mess. They're still having software problems and I talked to the uh, NASA folks yesterday and this problem is not likely to be solved in the near future. Uh, but there is enough data there today to see that we've had a couple of coronal mass ejections, one off the east limb and one off the north limb. I managed to put a short film together using Helio Viewer to illustrate the one off the north limb which is quite pretty. By the way the object coming in from the right hand side of the frame is Venus. So let's take a look at the ACE data and see what's been going on in the solar wind. You can see both the temperature in green and the density in orange have not changed very much over the last 24 hours. However the speed of the solar wind has started to moderate a little which means that we're moving out of the influence of that coronal hole. The high energy electron flux at measured at geosynchronous altitude reached a fairly high peak yesterday, but again probably from the high speed solar wind stream, and as we've had no major flares, the proton flux remains stubbornly at base level. Both the northern and southern hemisphere auroral zones seem quite agitated, but the KP index has been only varying between 1 and 3, which is rated as quiet. So in summary then, the X-ray background remains at the B2 level, the sunspot number has dropped to 56, the radio sun intensity remains at about 100 solar flux units, Solar wind speed has dropped a little to 640 km per second with a density of about 2 protons per cubic centimetre and geospace conditions are now rated as quiet. So my summary for the next 24 hours is that there's a poor chance of C flares with a very remote chance of getting M or X flares. The sunspot number will probably ease lower. We've still got a good chance of coronal mass ejections. Solar wind speed will ease lower. Uh, but the chances of getting a major geomagnetic storm are very poor. If we look at the composite coronal picture we see that there's a region due back over the East Limb in about a day or a day and a half, but from the coronal movies that we saw earlier there doesn't seem to be a lot of activity there, so I'm not very hopeful for these regions. The answer to the trivia quiz is that two dogs orbited the Earth zero times. It was a suborbital flight. The background picture here is the latest picture from Hubble of Pluto's new moon. Enjoy! So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.